My name is Ernest Green and I play in the band Washed Out. Paracosm is the name of my new record. Technically it's uh, a psychological term that um, uh, has to do with people that tend to fantasize quite a bit. It's whatever their fantasy is. The title track, Paracosm, um, I feel like kind of sums up the record in a lot of ways. Um, it has a lot of interesting sounds and uh, the lyrics kind of talk about escaping in some ways. I had a lot of ideas, rough ideas about the record being a kind of daytime sounding album and for me that meant a lot of acoustic instruments, very warm sounding instruments and so that's kind of where I started from, like upright bass, acoustic guitar and um, the saw, I kind of got out of hand, there's over 50 different instruments on the record. I'm uh, very much a producer first, more than kind of a traditional songwriter, I guess. Like, I'm very interested in very exotic sounds. There is a synthesizer, it's called a, a Hammond Nova Chord. Um, it was built in 1939. Um, and so, and there are only a handful of them still around. A lot of research went into finding a lot of this really obscure instruments and I love that side of it. I'm a huge geek with um, just trying to dig up stuff that's never been on a record before or hasn't been on a record in a long time. The record's very much a daytime sounding record and kind of a summer record and um, we're just trying to brainstorm about you know ways to promote the record. And, you know ice cream I think has an association with most people with you know being outside and enjoying the summer and all that, so it made sense. The guys at Oddfellows kind of um, sent me over a few different options. Luckily they nailed it off the bat, you know, it's a mix of uh, raspberry and pink peppercorn. The hope was that it would be like, you know, the highest selling flavor ever. Uh, we could put it in stores and sell it at our merch table. We'll have our traveling freezer, no problem. I mean, it was a dream come true for me to put out a record. I was working as a librarian, believe it or not, uh, when it kind of washed out, took off. I live out in the country, in the countryside in Georgia. And, um, by far the nicest house I've ever lived in and it has a nice studio space and honestly all I've really asked for, you know, so that's kind of my paracosm space, you know, so um, yeah, it's a real dream come true to be doing this.